Let's solve the equation 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. So um, when factoring doesn't work, then we'll have to come up with another method. And one of the methods is uh, this. We have to look for possible solutions. So possible solutions are obtained by um, finding the factors of the constant over the factors of the leading coefficient. Which means, in our case, the factors of 4 over the factors of 3. Now, the factors of 4 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and plus minus 4. And we'll have to divide them by the factors of uh, 3, which are plus minus 1 and plus minus 3. Now, if we combine all these, the possible factors are plus minus 1, because we can go like this. We can divide plus minus 1 by plus minus 1, so we get plus minus 1. Then we divide plus minus 1 by plus minus 3, and the possible factors are plus minus 1 third. And then we go plus minus 2, and we divide it by each of them, and we get possible factors plus minus 2, and then plus minus 2 thirds, and then we'll do the same with 4 plus minus 4 and plus minus 4 over 3. So these are not uh, solutions, they are possible solutions. So we'll have to check by trying uh, one of these two numbers, one of all these numbers. So let's check if x equals 1, it's a solution. So we get 3 times 1 to the third minus 5 times 1 to the second minus 4 times 1 plus 4 equals, well, 3 minus 5 minus 4 plus 4, which um, equals, um, well, negative 2. So x equals 1 is not a solution. Let's check x equals negative 1. So we get 3 times negative 1 to the third minus 5 times negative 1 to the second minus 4 times negative 1 plus 4. And we get negative 3 minus 5 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 0. So x equals negative 1 is, is indeed a solution of this equation, which we call star. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to divide our equation 3x to the third minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 4. We will divide it by x plus 1 because if x equals negative 1, it's a solution. x plus 1 equals 0. It's a factor of our equation. And there are two ways we can divide this. We can divide using long division. So I'm going to do that first. And we can also divide using synthetic division. So we'll do this method first, and then we'll do the synthetic division. So long division, 3x to the third divided by x is 3x squared. And now we check it back. 3x squared times x is 3x to the third. And 3x squared plus 1 is plus 3x squared. And we subtract these two. So when we subtract, we change the signs. So then we get minus 8x squared minus 4x plus 4, and we do the same. Now we divide negative 8x squared by, a, by x, and we get negative 8x. So minus 8x squared, negative 8x times x is minus 8x squared, minus 8x times 1 is minus 8x, and we'll have to subtract these two, which means we'll change the signs of um, the what we obtain here. So we get 4x plus 4, and again, 4x divided by x, it's plus 4, and when we check it back, 4 times uh, x, it's 4x, and 4 times 1, it's plus 4, and when we subtract them, we change this sign, and we change this sign, which means we obtain 0. So basically, um, 3x uh, cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x plus 1, it's actually equal to 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. So I'm going to do this the same thing, but using synthetic division in case people um, like that one more. So x cubed 
x squared, we create a table, x to the first and x to zero, where here we put all the coefficients. So in front of x uh, cubed, it's three. In front of x squared is negative five, negative four, and four. And we are dividing by x equals negative one. So here we don't write the factor, we write exactly the value that we got as our solution. So this is how it works. We bring down the three and now we multiply these two and we add with this one. So we multiply and then we add. So negative one times three is negative three plus negative five is negative eight. Then we multiply these two, it's like in a V, and we add negative four. So it's going to be negative one times negative eight, it's eight plus negative four, it's four. And then we multiply these two and then we add with this one. So we get negative one times four is negative four plus four, it's zero. So the remainder is zero, which we got remainder zero uh, for long division as well. And this coefficient that we have here are the coefficients of the uh, quotient, which is one power less than we had originally, because when we divide x to the third by an x, we get x squared. So it's 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 equals 0, which we have exactly the same. So our uh, equation was initially third order, and we narrow it down to a second order, which we can solve using a quadratic formula, for example. So you can pause here and solve your quadratic equation. So I solved the equation, I wrote the formula, negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac, everything over 2a, replaced a, b, c, and we ended up with x1 and 2 to be 2 and 2 thirds. So we actually have the first solution, or let me call it this one the third, it's negative 1, and then we got 2 and 2 thirds. So these are all our um, solutions to the equation 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 4. This method works for higher um, degrees. So I hope this helps.